chicos y chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel. So much is going on in America. This is my prediction for the future. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this video and it will mean the world to me if you guys could like and share this video. You can help me reach out to others and they can learn from it. And now, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And make sure to follow me in my social medias. By the way, today's video may look a little different, and that is because I am lucky enough to be collaborating with the amazing students at Brown Academy. So big shout out to Ms. Diaz and everybody here at the media production class. I'm Isaac, I'm your co-host, and today we're helping Ricardo with his lighting, his filming, his sound, and overall video. So basically making this video become reality and it looks better than I have ever had in the past. So thank you so much, guys. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. We are so close to having 70% of Americans vaccinated. What do you think is going to happen now that most Americans are vaccinated? Well, I think more people are going to hit outdoors a lot more, which this will mean. A lot more eating out and helping restaurants stay busier, as well as hotels, because a lot of people are tired of being cooped up at home. They may even want to take vacations. I know I'm due for a vacation, but I am super excited. The movies are coming out and I am dying to see the new Top Gun movie. How about yourself? I'm stoked for Black Widow. Oh man, well I have to put that on my bucket list of movies I need to see, because I heard it's a good one, but scary, right? Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> With all this going on, it means that most businesses will need to start hiring or rehiring staff, as most businesses are trying to keep up with today's demand. And what do you think is gonna happen with real estate? I don't think that people are thinking about buying a home right now. They are thinking of having a good time. That's what I think is happening right now in real estate. Yeah. Does this mean that the housing bubble is about to burst? Well, the Fed said that they have plans on raising interest rates a year sooner than what they have originally planned to help so that the inflation can stay balanced. So high demand and low inventory will still be common. I don't see any bubbles bursting. I agree, I mean, that's simple economics. But what do you think might happen, Isaac? Well, hmm, maybe a small correction or prices leveling out. Now keep in mind the location, location, location. For example, the market in other states might look different than it is in Las Vegas. And what I mean by that is, well, Las Vegas just opened up Resorts World which has over 3,500 new rooms and over 6,000 new jobs. God, it's amazing. Now, can, we can't forget about conventions are also coming back. Having the Las Vegas Convention Center with over 150,000 new square feet of convention space, this will definitely help our economy, Isaac. Wow, I can't even imagine how much money this will generate for the Vegas Valley. Now, you might think that all of these construction projects being done will slow down everything down to the point we won't have anything else going on, right? Wrong. We still have plenty of projects, I think, right, being built. And there is uh, one more thing that I'm really excited here in Las Vegas with the construction projects. And that's known as the MSG Sphere, also known as the Las Vegas Sphere. I want to say 360 degree television, surround sound, great viewing. I know you're excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm stoked about it. But we have to wait two more years, so keep holding your breath before this, uh, this amazing project gets done. So we'll see how it turns out. And another exciting thing that's happening is... People are moving to Las Vegas from all over. 
One reason is probably because of no state income taxes. This gains the interest of California residents because they do have state income tax, so they have to pay more money than us. Las Vegas appeals to them because they can save money by not having a state tax. They can sell their homes that is worth a lot more than a home here in the Las Vegas Valley. And this allows them to buy bigger and better homes in, the, in Las Vegas. And many corporations and companies still allow their employees to work from home, which makes a decision easy for them to Las Vegas. So with that said, guys, thank you for your time. And if you haven't liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to email him. Where's the email, though? Are we putting it here, here, over there, Isaac? You're going to be the editor. Right here. OK, cool. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my social media, this is my social media. Oh, yeah, please share this video as well. I would truly appreciate that. So I just used Las Vegas as an example that looks like Las Vegas will be doing just fine. If anything, I think Las Vegas is going to do amazing in the future. But what about other cities that don't have the tourists visiting them nonstop like Las Vegas? New construction going on nonstop. Will cities that are not thriving like Las Vegas? Will this mean their population is going to extinct?